You made a decision. What is it? It's time. It is? It's time. Natalie! It's absolutely time. We've been having some very bizarre computer problems. Have you noticed that? The LCY has been getting numbers wrong. What do you need? Measure Smith won the gold medal in the pole vault with a leap of 238 feet 6 inches. That doesn't sound right. That will actually be a truth, yes. 238 feet 6 inches in the pole vault. That'd be a record, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Elliot! Why are you staring at me? Because it's time. It's not time. It is time. It's past time. It's not past time. It's well past time. You need to start meeting women. I've met many women. No, you haven't. No, you haven't met many women. That's why I'm here. Oh, boy, I like the sound of this. You got married at 23 to a woman you met when you were 19. I know, I was there. So you agree? To what? You agree it's time. You said it was past time. It is past time. I thought I was screwed. I'm going to help you out. Oh, thank God for that, Danny. Thank God for you. Thank God indeed. Indeed I do. Do you know why I can help you out? Why? Because there's still time. 60 seconds of BTR, two minutes live. Loading effects BF4. Preview animation 1, 1A, and 4. BF4, Boston Foxhole. Jeremy? Yes? Tell me the story so far in UCLA, Arizona. The story, Dana, is shooting percentage. Shooting percentage and offensive glass. Last I checked, UCLA was 12 for 24 from the field, 1 for 6 at the stripe. Arizona's press forced 12 turnovers, which led to 15 points. The Cats, needless to say, were dominant in the paint, and McDuffie's got four fouls. That is the story. Jeremy. Yes? What's the score? Wow. Jeremy. Devil's in the details. Jeremy. 66.50, Arizona. Thank you. No problem. Stand by audio, stand by VTR. Preview 6 and 16. Will, let me hear sound effect 7, just me. Here we go. Roll VTR. Good show, everybody. Time is right, Casey. The time is now. You strike while the iron is hot. What iron? The iron. You're going to strike it. Because it's hot right now? Scorching hot. Okay. It is. Uh, Natalie, can I get a recount time on 7? 120, but we've got wiggle room. How much? How much? From seven? Lee Trevino. Casey, don't make a meal out of it. How much? Five seconds. You go to ten, I kick your ass. You ever hear of artistic freedom? You ever hear of me kicking your ass? Yes, I have. Five seconds. Fifteen live. A lot's changed since you've been out there. Nowhere. There. Out there. Where are the women are? Everybody still wears shoes, right? <laughs> Do they ever? In three, two. Good evening from New York City. I'm Casey McCall alongside Dan Rydell. Those stories plus will show why if you haven't seen Davis Love play Pebble Beach, then you haven't seen Shakespeare the way it was meant to be played. College hoops? You want college hoops? How about Syracuse, New York, where the orange men blew the roof off the carrier dome? How about Oklahoma, where the corn's not the only thing high as an elephant's eye? All that coming up after this. You're watching Sports Night on CSC, so stick around. We're out. 90 seconds back. You know the biggest difference? The biggest difference between what? The biggest difference between women then and women now. What? You're on television. Stand by. Yes, sit down. I got a note that said you wanted to see me. Yeah, have a seat. Is anything wrong? No, sit down. You never send me a note. I usually call your office. Yes, sir. You have Marcia find me, or you grab me at the rundown and say, can I see you? Why don't you have a seat? But this time you sent me a note. Please, sit. It said you needed to see me. Dana, I need to move my day along just a little bit faster than this. I'm just saying, if this is going to be bad news, I'd like to sit. Feel free. Thank you. <laughs> I want to start grooming you. I don't understand. You heard me. You want to start grooming me? Yes. You better be talking about my don't hairstyle, go Isaac. Nuts. I'm not going nuts. I'm just saying that's the only kind of grooming that I'm prepared to talk about at this particular moment. Is there anything else? When the time comes, I want the show to go where I want the show to go. And I want the show to go to you. Isaac? 
I'm not fooling around, Dana. Fine. Then we'll have this conversation 15 years from now. Is there anything else? You want to be in a position where it's a smart choice for Luther to make. I don't want a position you myself. You start coming to the monthly lunches at Continental Corp. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. How do you know I even want your job? Everybody wants my job. Not me. I think your job stinks. You get to create your own show and make all the decisions and have a big staff and make a lot of money. That's not for me, Isaac. I like to answer to people. I don't want to create. When I get a thought in my head, I like it to die right there. <laughs> <laughs> These monthly lunches. At first, when you it's... hired me. When you hired me, didn't you swear that you weren't going to leave? You did. I remember you swearing. You swore. I'm talking about down the line. How far down the line? Far. Then stop sending me notes. Dana, that was a near-death experience at Christmas. I don't think I've ever seen Luther so mad. You embarrassed him on television. He'll get over it. Yeah, he may get over it, but he certainly won't forget it. Look, he yelled. He screamed. But he didn't fire you. If he was going to fire you, he'd have fired you. Don't you don't fire a black executive doing a race-related public relations problem. They wait a while. See? That's the kind of thing I don't know. So, you know, stop grooming. Start coming with me to the lunches and to the budget meetings. What are you going to do if you don't work here? I've been thinking a lot about gardening. Gardening? I think I'd like to try organic gardening. Do you even know what it is? No, but I was going to get a book. Good plan. Let's keep this out of the secret. I shouldn't tell anyone that you're grooming me? You shouldn't tell anyone I'm grooming. What if people ask? Dana? No, I'm serious. What if someone asks a direct question about the grooming? Dana, I'm serious. All right. All right. I won't tell anyone that you're grooming me. Thank you. Goodbye. He wants to groom me. But you said, I said I didn't want to be groomed. I said everybody here is very happy with the jobs they have right now. Right? Sure. Natalie? Yeah. You're thinking about how you'd redecorate my office right now, aren't you? I was not. Yes, you were. I was totally not at all. In your little mind, you were measuring for new curtains. I was not measuring for curtains. You'd keep the curtains? And double plants. <laughs> Thank you. You are wrong. No, I'm not. Uh, you want to make a bet? I don't want to take your money. They weren't going to play Virginia in the next round. They were going to play Louisiana Tech. You were going to play Louisiana yeah, Tech. We were going to play Clemson. That's when I injured my ankle. It was your knee, and it was against Louisiana Tech. <sighs> this is my ankle. No doubt about it. It was injured playing Clemson. Came out of it okay. <laughs> you think? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What have we here? Hello, Dan. Sally, put your leg on the floor. I was telling Casey that I injured my ankle against Clemson. It was your knee. It was my ankle. And you see how you were able to tell me that without taking all your clothes off? I just assume you do that in your head. I'll see you later, Casey. Dan's going to want to warn you about me. Bye. just doing? Nothing. You were flirting. No, we weren't. You were flirting with Sally. I wasn't conscious of it. Conscious or not, you were doing it. Was Sally flirting with me? Yes, indeed she was. You missed the whole thing? Thank God I got here when I did. I'm not going to go out with Sally. You don't have to go out with her. She was stripping down right here. We were talking about women's college basketball. Oh, Casey, please. I'm not other people. I know. And I know I said it was time, but just to be clear about something, it's not time for that. It's not time to dally with Sally. Dan? That was an unfortunate rhyme, but still. What's your problem with Sally? Look at her. I don't think she's of this world. You don't think she's of this world? I do not. What world do you think she's of? She scares me. She's too good looking. Nobody's that good looking. I'm not that good looking. Do you really think she was flirting with me? And her beauty comes from a very strange place. Have you noticed that? Well, places her beauty comes from where that's strange to me. I can identify almost all of them. <laughs> Don't do it, Casey. She's got an agenda. You think she wants a job on sports huh? No, I think she wants to rule all of Metropolis. You see the job she does on West Coast Update? She's a very skilled producer. Of course she's skilled. 
She's Satan's handmaiden. She's not Satan's handmaiden. On the entire planet, have you ever seen anyone with eyes like that, huh? She's a Stepford producer. I say she's a very nice person. I say she has no reflection. You were worrying about nothing. She wasn't flirting with me, I wasn't flirting with her. It's a well-oiled machine here. I don't want to see anything interfere with that. Did a high school girl from East Lansing run the Boston Marathon in 2.6 seconds? It doesn't sound right. Not as well oiled as you think. one SM trunk er. You should really call technical support. I like it when you fix it. It's so cute and nerdy. I could just lick you up. This is a serious computer problem. I don't want to fool around with what this. What does er mean? Call technical what support. What does er mean? It means a mistake. Is it Latin? It's English. It's E-R-R. -R. means error. Call technical Minus support. Minus one SM trunk. What does it mean? Natalie. Come on! Just it means the truncation indicator alone is wider than the specified width. It probably also indicates a minus five type SCP, which is an invalid Q element. Okay. And this is minus 15 out of range. What does that mean? That means it's out of range. Oh, you're not doing this right. What the hell are we doing? Well, I thought we were having phone sex, but I guess you're just more interested. We were having phone well, sex? Well, not phone sex, but whatever. We were having sex. I didn't even know. And frankly, it showed up in your performance. <laughs> I wasn't having sex. I know that, Jeremy. I was sitting here having sex all by myself. You were having sex? Yes. Well, I think maybe you're not doing it right. Call technical support. Hello, Isaac. Hello, Sally. Sharp suit. Thanks, Sally. No, I mean it. That is a sharp suit. Thanks again. Who makes that suit? Oh, I have no idea. Is it Armani? Yeah, no, I, honestly, I have no idea. Could be Hugo Boss. You never know. But either way, it's a very sharp suit. I'm awfully happy with it, thanks. Sure. Allie. Yes? What do you want? Are you quitting your job? No. You're not? No. I heard you were. You heard wrong. But I keep my ear to the ground. I have no doubt about it. And I'm happy for Dana. She'll be glad to hear it. Can I be blunt? There's evidence to suggest that you're capable of it, yes. I think I'm the right person for the job. Whose job? Dana's job. Oh, Dana wants Dana's job. No, Dana's going to have your job. No, sadly, I'm going to have my job. I want to executive produce sports night. May I give you my credentials? I see no way of stopping you. I've been executive producer of West Coast Update for 16 months. Our show has never failed to win its time slot. You're on at 2 a.m., Sally. Your competition is a Bonanza rerun and four guys making cheese. To say nothing of Fox on Sports and CNN SI, both of which were on top of us to the tune of a share point before I came in. My shows are tight, my shows are hot, and my shows are paced within an inch of their lives. My staff is professional, and they place a premium on professionalism. My staff is professional, Sally. As we speak, one of your LC wireframes is misprocessing data while two of your associate producers stand over the monitor attempting to have phone sex. God, please don't tell me which two. Just think about it. All right, my guess is it's Jeremy and Natalie. I meant think about me for the job. Dana's job? Yes. When Dana takes my job? Yes. And tell me again what I will be doing? I heard organic gardening. You can leave now. Sharp suit. Thank you very much. Good evening from New York City. I'm Casey McCall alongside Dan Rydell. Those stories plus we've got a Major League Baseball trade that brought some birds home to roost. That's you. What? Major League Baseball trade that brought some birds home to roost. And then you say... Yoko Ono. Really? Yes. Okay, but it might be better to say something about hockey. I'm going to fix you up with Yoko Ono. I don't think so. Yeah. I really am. No, you're really not. Are you concerned about the age difference? Do you even know Yoko Ono? I'm a fan of her music, yes. A Major League Baseball trade that brought some birds home to roost. You get away with that if you want, but it's not birds, it's chickens. Do you really think Dana was flirting with me? Dana? Sally. 
You said Dan. I meant Sally. Stop thinking about Sally. I'm not thinking about Sally. This is science fiction. I'm all alone on this. I stand completely alone. Sally is an alien. Do you understand me? At night, she peels off her body and lives on Steve Gutenberg's boat. And you can't get anybody to rally around that theory? My point is, you said Dana. Hey, pigeons roost, don't they? Yes. So what's wrong with birds? What's wrong with the unmistakable human frailty of Yoko Ono? Uh, Dana? You're still a minute 20 fat in the 40s. We're getting there. Can I say birds come home to roost? Yeah, I saw that. Can I say? It's chickens. Oh, I think it's also pigeons. Do pigeons roost? I think they do. I think they perch. They roost. Look, it's fine with me. Hey, you know what? I think someone was flirting with me tonight. I'm sorry? Someone might have been flirting with me tonight. Sally? How did you know? Sally's always flirting with you. Well, she's not. Yes, she is. It's okay. Have I been flirting back? You're kind of feeble, aren't you? What well, have I? I really don't know. I don't want to look foolish. Not much chance of that. Do I flirt badly? You flirt fine. Seriously. You flirt fine. Dana. Flirt with me now. Flirt with you now. Yes. I will. Start. How you doing? <laughs> That's good, Casey. How many years of college? I've got more. I'm just saying hi. Lay it on me. What's your name? Casey, I'm saying flirt with me. I'm not playing in somebody else. You're not helping. Start again. Flirt with me. I'm starting now. What's your name? My name's Dana, you unbelievable moron. You've known me for 15 years. Flirt with me. Tell me why you like me better than Sally. I do like you better than Sally. Tell me why. I don't understand. I don't think you're ever going to have sex again. I gotta go. You're smoky. I'm sorry? The difference between you and Sally, you're smoky. I'm smoky? You're smoky. You're a lot of other things, too, but you're smoky. I don't know what that means, but I like the sound of it. Tell me what it means. No, it's hard to translate. Try. Yeah, I'll make a joke. We're flirting. It's okay. Are we really flirting, or are you just pretending to be you flirting with me actually being me? You think I'm smoky? Classy, impressive, sexy. Was sexy going too far? It was fine. You're smoky. Thank you. Uh, Natalie, wait up. I'm sorry. I gotta talk to Natalie. That's fine. We're on the air and very soon and Natalie's there. Okay. So, I'll see you later. Yeah, just a little bit in fact. Because we're going on the air. And you're okay with birds roosting? I'm okay with birds doing anything you tell them to. Were you two flirty? No, you were. We were, but it was a rehearsal of sorts. It was a class. If you guys aren't too far along, can Jeremy join? Sure. Isaac, you got a minute? Kim, Elliot, how can I help you? I'm a team player, Isaac. Always have been, always will be. But everyone here moves up one notch, and you make this woman senior associate, I'll lead a mutiny, the likes of which will sink this show for good. Okay. <laughs> Kim? When I get Natalie's job, is there a union regulation that prevents me from making Elliot my manslave? All right, that's it. Follow me. I'm saying Let's it. Let's just forget about it. I'm saying it right now. So far be it for me to be adventuresome in our sex life. Thanks very much, folks. Be sure and tip your waitresses. Dan, Casey, Dana, Jeremy, Natalie in the conference room right now. What's going on? In there. Sally, why don't you join us as well? What are we doing? 
We're having a little meeting. Is this what I think it is? Probably not. <laughs> Good evening. How are you all? Isaac. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, who really gives a damn? My name is Isaac Jaffe. I run this place. Anybody else who runs this place, please raise your hand. Good. Couple of things. I am not quitting and I'm not getting fired, at least not today and probably not tomorrow. Let me add, Dana, that things that I say in my office stay in my office. Natalie's my, uh, my second in command. She's the only one I told. Jeremy's my boyfriend. He's the only one I told. I told many, many people. <laughs> Elliot, Kim, the production team is in fact a team, and you will work with and for whomever Dana tells you to. Thank you. Shut up. Okay. Finally, I'd like to say that while there are many programs here at CSC and there's nothing wrong with healthy competition, we are all a family, and we are to treat each other with professional respect. I think I can speak for everyone on the West Coast Update team when I say we have nothing but respect for each and every man and woman who works on Sports Night. He's talking about you, you freak. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. I hope this meeting has cleared up any confusion. It's five minutes to 11. Please, go do my show. Stand by audio, stand by BTR. Preview 3 and 13. Here's 3, 13 standing. Come here, how are you, Ellie? Is it for Smokey? <laughs> yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Holly, Holly, you were right. It's 14 points off the fast break and send it back to the studio. I like that. Smokey? Yes. It was very complimentary. It was very complimentary? Yes. Well, how good of you to come to tea? Hey, I talk the way I talk. I'm Smokey. We're on VTR. We're alive in 60. Good show, everybody. Good show. Casey said she's smoky. She is smoky. Am I smoky? You better believe it. I'll tell you what else you are. You are a slow drink of whiskey. Say some computer things right now. Listen, seriously, those new herbs you've been taking, I think you should stop. A slow drink of whiskey. Among other things, yes. Couldn't you six and six A? It wasn't flirting. It was an actual flirt. I don't like you going off on your own like this. I know. You have to listen to what I tell you. Hey. You could be having sex with Yoko Ono right now. Please don't ever say that again. I've made a decision. What's that? I don't think it's time. In three, two. Good evening from New York City. I'm Casey McCall alongside Dan Rydell. Those stories plus a Major League Baseball trade that brought some birds home to roost. The ACC was the place to be in college hoops last night, and we'll take you to the D-Dome after a quick stop in the land of Lincoln. You're watching Sports Night on CSC, so stick around. We're out. Hi, right, guys, that was great. Thank you. So I hear about you and Yoko on the What's up with that? Whoa. Yoko. 